Rich Morris here from The Singing Drummer. Um, so I bought more stuff, uh, no surprise, right? I am gonna be tracking some drums for the Mad Wagon uh, EP that's coming up. Um, we're just doing some scratch tracks down here in the basement to try to make sure that uh, we have what we wanna have. We're gonna send that off to the producer and make sure that everything's okay. And for that, I needed to close mic the snare a with a different mic than the, what works with the clips that I have on the drums. And so I bought a couple of short stands. So Amazon came by and delivered these. Uh, these are jam stands, short tripod mic stand. Of course, the link will be in the description, but I wanted to unbox them real quick and just make sure that folks saw what they were like. Uh, because who doesn't like an unboxing? It's nice and sunny here. I should be outside. I should probably be doing some, some something on the house, but no, down here, opening boxes for you beautiful people. So let's see what's inside. Actually, they were packed really nice in a really big cardboard box. Uh, oh, ooh. Okay, they're, very, they're pretty heavy, actually. Let's take a look. Alrighty, so if you've seen some of my other videos, I am a little bit particular on how things clamp and whatnot. Uh, but let's kind of see what's going on here. Everything's plastic except for the uh, legs and the stand itself. Um, oh, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a it's got a mic clip. Can you see that? It's got a mic clip on the leg, so you can run the wire down and clip it to the leg. Okay. I, it, you know, cool added feature. Probably costs them all about 10 cents, but... Um, okay, so all the legs are out and down. That is nice and sturdy. The, the base itself is plastic with some sheet metal on the inside. Um so that the legs can ride up in there. They're probably pop riveted through the joints there. The, this thumb screw, whatever you want to call it, wing screw, got a plastic head on it. Um, and I think it's got a captive nut, so I don't want to take it out of there because it'll probably just fall off. But then it gets, it goes, rubbed up against a little key portion, which looks like it sends it off center. So, okay, so it's not gonna dent the stand. So that's pretty cool. Um, the top here, what's going on, on the top? Looks like we've got, should I do this? I'm not sure if I should do this or not. Okay, so this is what's going on on the top. All right. Carriage bolt going through. That feels like it's metal. Metal or a very hard plastic, but it, it feels pretty substantial. I don't think that it's metal. This portion is this little clamp and slide here is all bent sheet metal with some plastic ends on it. I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for them here in just a second. Got another another cord clamp on it, so you can run your cord down. So that's kind of nice. Uh, in between your bent sheet metal flanges, you got some rubber uh, washers, and this has some serration on it, so that's what kind of keeps your things, uh, keeps your stand from moving. So let's see if I can put this back together in a short amount of time. And another washer. And let's see how this thing clamps up. If I can get this threaded on here. Okay, so the first time it's been clamped so that the pieces of sheet metal were pretty wide. I gotta tell you, super cheap feels really, really flimsy, but I mean, that's part of, you got rubber washers getting in there. So that, that play there is from the rubber washers. That's not a huge deal. And maybe it would stop some vibration. I'm not sure, 
but it does have I mean let me go get it let me go get a measuring tape since our house is in constant construction there's almost always a measuring tape someplace by so the lowest that this would go let's see if we can figure that out okay so obviously Stan can't go down any further and I can't even really see that but Stan can't go down any further and it is 24 inches you're gonna have a mic clip on there so 24 inches and as high as it could go good thank you for not hitting the roof wife would have killed me as high as it goes 36 so you know you can totally use this for uh, miking a guitar cabinet uh, over top of floor tom um, depending on how tall your set is you could probably drop that over top of a of a tom um, acoustic guitar I mean there's lots of lots of purposes for a, a short stand like this and I want to say I spent just under 25 bucks at the time of shooting this video so great deal I don't, I don't know jury's still not this is really really lightweight this is really lightweight but the only place this is going to be is that this is not going to gig if I, it, I wouldn't I wouldn't get something like this if I was depending on it for for gigging if I was doing uh, live sound all the time I don't I don't believe that I would trust this um, but you know it's going to be set up down here and it's going to be and it's going to stay and uh, only I am going to be wrenching around with it and I'm going to know to loosen up that before trying to move it and if I don't I break my own stuff right and so who else do I got to, to blame but me so there you go the jam stands uh, mini boom stand uh, it, it, it is by ultimate support that's one of the reasons why I bought that it sounded familiar Remember the old ultimate support keyboard stands? I remember we used to be able to do handstands on those dang things. They were so tough um, back in the day. But, but anyway, there you go. Link will be in the description. Um, if you if you would, we're, we're gaining ever so slowly on the subscribers. Please, it doesn't cost you a thing. Hit the subscribe button, would you? Um, and it's not like I've put out a billion videos, so hit the notification button, and in the rare chance that I actually do a video, you'll get notified. Isn't that great? And there will be links in the description, and again, doesn't cost you a thing, um, but if you liked the stand or a stand like it, and you got to it by using the, the affiliate link that's going to be in the description, um, they'll give me a little stipend off of that. And that makes this a business and not a hobby. Please help me out with that. All right. As we just got through tax time, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm got, I've got a lot more work to do. Um, there you go. Jam stands, short tripod mic stand with fixed boom. It's not a fixed boom. That's an adjustable boom. Lost in the translation. Anyway, thanks. We'll see you soon.